All right, we will call the meeting to order. Uh, first, we will begin with a public recognition. Dr. Stratman will recognize Ms. Loretta King for receiving the City of Rolla Fire and Rescue Challenge coin for providing exemplary services to emergency services or, or the citizens of Rolla. This honor was given to Mrs. King for her help on February 4th, 20, 2018 in providing shelter to an injured people involved in a crash on I-44 due to the icy conditions. All right. Yay. Thank you. Mrs. Haskell, we have Ron Smith here uh, for the for the fire department. They might want to be in the picture as well. Oh yes, sure. Ron. Absolutely. Yes, please do. Come Mr. Down. Breen, come on down as well. Can you guys come over here? I always stand in the back. No. Sure. Yeah, tell us how this came about. Okay, great. Right, awesome. They instructed me to stand over here. Yes. Yes. But the, so the city of Rala Fire and Rescue has a very good working relationship with all of our public safety agencies. So between us, the Missouri State Highway Patrol, uh, Rala Police Department, Phelps County Ambulance, all those services are, are we are well oiled machines in that we know each other, we work together, and we're practically all family. But in that part of that family, when a mass casualty event happens and that was this event this was 11 vehicles this was 15 patients and 15 patients we had not all identified yet so and it's zero degrees outside with a very strong wind so we have a lot of issues that we are facing so in that policy that we have we asked for a Rollo public school bus uh, it's just written into the, the the policy so that when command calls it a mass casualty event they send us a school bus and so when we ask for that, we need that very, very quickly. We need that to happen without a lot of instruction and without anything really getting in the way. And so with, with Loretta, things went very, very smooth in that she arrived. She didn't question. She just said, I'll be right there, and went to the bus barn, picked up a bus, and, and, and brought it out to our scene. Now, to some, that would seem like it wasn't much. Some would say, well, that was easy. I could do that. But not everybody would drop what they're doing get in the car and drive on icy roads and risk her life to help others. And so that is really what it's about. Uh, when she arrived, she had about uh, 10 patients that were put into the bus. Those are injured people. Those are people that she's providing a shelter for and a safe location. Gets them out of wandering around in the street, out of the highway. Uh, not, not wandering around, but they just don't have a place to settle. And so we can get them in a, a secure location and we can start talking to them and find out what their injuries are. So on, on behalf of the City of Rolla Fire and Rescue, we appreciate your effort. All that you do, uh, it's always yes if we call. Uh, the answer is yes, and that, that means a lot for your director uh, because it's very, very, it's that simple. And so thank you very much for all you do for us. Okay. Thank, thank you, you all. You.